Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and More. So today's topic is uh, Battered Child Syndrome and Periodontic Triangle. Mm, both are short notes in periodontics. So first let's see what is Battered Child Syndrome, a physical uh, abuse uh, most commonly seen in kids under 2 years. So let's get into details of this uh, physical abuse syndrome. So battered child syndrome, uh, it is a clinical condition which is characterized by a repeated intentional act of trauma to a young child or deprivation of food and water is another variant of trauma. It is also called as child abuse syndrome or non-accidental injury. Uh, there are various spectrum of injury like uh, soft tissue injury, there will be thermal injury, skeletal injury, uh, internal injuries uh, to brain, abdomen or eye. Uh, it is most commonly diagnosed by uh, the doctor. So mostly the age of child, uh, any infant can be involved but the majority are under 2 years and most commonly male childs are involved and it will be a unwanted illegitimate uh, kid and it is most commonly seen in lower class even though the cases in middle class and upper classes are reported and clinical findings more common in the skin and skeleton like evidences of injury as old or recent bruises fractures burns scars bites kicking slapping or evidence of neglect that like child may be starved or dehydrated so bruises will be there burns will be there so when uh, the patient is brought to the hospital it can be understood by the um, take history taking if a doctor can easily understand the battered child syndrome by taking history because there will be often a delay in bringing the child to the hospital and there will be a significant discrepancy from the parents version of uh, injury and the clinical findings so it will not correlate the clinical findings and parents description because they don't want to be in trouble and there will be unexplained malnutrition so the explanation given by the parents or caregivers will be very vague or inconsistent so history uh, from history we can easily understand the battered child syndrome or physical abuse so if the child is brought to the hospital um, unconscious or even after death the cause of death should be understood by an autopsy so autopsy will uh, will clearly explain the cause of the death and that will be a physical abuse case so it is a uh, physical abuse condition which is known as battered child syndrome okay so i'll come up with a uh, periodontic triangle in my next video thank you next one is a very small topic that is periodontic triangle so in periodontics we are dealing with a uh, very unique kids so they are very unique in the nature their psychology is very different uh, they can be very uh, difficult to manage inside uh, a dental clinic or the parents are very apprehensive. So their treatment and their management is very critical unlike adult uh, patients. So a child patient is uh, a, a managing a child patient uh, is very critical to give him a proper uh, treatment. So, periodontic triangle is a concept which is put forward by Wright in 1975. So, child is at the apex and the dentist and the parents are at the other two ends. Okay. So, there will be always a mutual interaction. So, mutual interaction between dentist and child, dentist and parent and child and parent. So, child, child should be given the utmost importance by the dentist and parents so managing a child 
giving a treatment uh, to child always will be a combined effect of or combined effort of dentist and parents so we always keep parents inside the child to give a psychological support for the child to get the best treatment outcome so it is a coordinated and combined effect which gives the child a positive um, attitude inside a dental clinic and all over a dentist and parents effort will result in a positive attitude to receive the treatment so the same triangle is later modified okay so in addition to dentist and parents mutual interaction and contribution to child's uh, health and child's uh, psychology there is a significant contribution to the society so society is a very important factor so not just dentist and parents can manage a child so society involves everything apart from these two groups parents and dentist apart from dentist and parents the rest everything involves in society the neighbors uh, other people involves coming closer with the child all has to support a child and to uh, give a positive uh, to instill a positive attitude in child uh, not only just uh, in treatment but also in all other sectors of child's uh even in child health child's education and child's uh, attitude the society has a very significant role so it is a very very small concept what is periodontic triangle only thing is dentist and parents coming at the other ends when child is keeping at the supreme apex and it is modified to add a society element in this triangle okay so i'll come up with another topic thank you